That's a difficult thing to defend. How's I think it, they're going to find you, it. How's it for you watching the game now, like a few weeks out, just watching the season unfold? It sucks because you're not really like when you're when when you're on IR, you're not really around the team. Like you go in, you do treatment, but you're doing treatment when everyone's in meetings. Like the only time I see the boys is like today and Tuesdays. Yeah, and that's if they come in on an off day. So it's hard. Like I went and watched the film with the O line today, and I was like talking to Dennis Daly about a couple of things you could do differently, or like help him out with some stuff and and Nick. But like for real, like the farther when you're on IR, and this happened in 2020, the farther you're removed from it, the more you feel like you're less a part of it. Yeah. You know, and it is just the reality. I got like people <clears throat> on social media coming at me being like, why aren't you in the sidelines? Well, that's just, a, that's a team rule. Otherwise I would be on the sideline for every game. Absolutely. Yeah. And you go watch that. It's like when Philly on that first drive. And when you say with ease, you're saying like no IR guys are allowed. On the no field. IR guys are allowed on the sideline. Yes. Otherwise I would literally travel to games. That would be, I would love that. But when you watch the Philadelphia Eagles on offense, travel like it looked so easy for them to go and score on that first drive it, it, you're like damn like i hope the boys are ready and then Derek held only 30 yards total fuck man it's just it's hard it's hard to see and you can't help but when you're watching the game being like damn i wonder if you have you play the ego game in your head like if i was out there i could have helped more i could have mm-hmm. done x y and z but it's just you know if i was out there it probably wouldn't be a, wouldn't have been a whole lot different based on how the day was going for everybody Trailer and getting hurt. Someone told me uh, we might have what to pull this a, what up. What a fucking yeah! What is that was insane, too, bro. That was insane. I, someone told me that his stats at this point in the year are like very. Was that you, Garrett? You said that to me. Someone said to me that they're very similar to AJ Brown, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Their first year as a rookie because AJ wasn't as explosive in the beginning of the year as he was later mm-hmm. in the year. And Traylon seems like he's coming along. Like he and seems like he's really to that because there's so much of a comparison since there has like, there has the to be Eagles, yeah and then they drafted they traded him, they blah 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 and then yeah that's that's a crazy deal you know the Eagles are tough man like we're talking about good. Devontae Smith and AJ and their passing attack with Jalen Hurts and everything too. else but just a week or two ago they rushed for like was it a record yards. like three hundred and something yards their offensive line is elite yeah, their offensive line truly is elite team, and if they're and holding uh, the king to 30 yards. Yeah. Ryan completed like 11 passes. Like, their defense is fucking good. They're they're pressuring the quarterback and getting sacks without blitzing. Yeah. And that's when you know you're fucking dominant. Because you can drop seven guys in the coverage. Seven, eight guys in the coverage. Yeah, you rush four and get home that fast. Yeah. That fast. That's, that's tough. Their D-line's legit, but they have no dudes that are like, like a Von Miller type guy. Like Fletcher Cox is there, but Fletcher Cox is getting old. Like, he, he is. He's still a stud. Like, you saw him chase down Tannehill mm-hmm. on that third and three, and it ended up being, what, fourth and five? He got a sack on that play. He's still a stud, but they, there's really... They just got dudes that have juice, mm-hmm. that have juice and are fucking going right now. Yeah, uh, in the wrong when you got a team who, like, they all believe in each other themselves, yeah. the locker room, you any look move at, that they're making, it's like, it's all... The vibes are up. Like that one game earlier in the year, and they're all riding the bike right afterwards to get ready for the Thursday night game and just having fun. Like they, they're one of those teams that are just fucking rolling, and they're going to be tough to beat. And be on another team, like I feel like the Titans were this way a couple of years ago, where you like look at them on the sideline, like, they have a good locker room. Like mm-hmm. you look at the Titans and be like, hey, they look like they're having fun. They all like each other. They're having a good time. Mm-hmm. When I was watching that game yesterday, it really seemed like, man, the Eagles probably have a fire locker room. They have a bunch of dudes that just love each other. Yeah, and they drop that. They have. I think Jason Kelsey is a. He just seems like an outstanding leader. Mm-hmm. He seems like he does, that man. fucking dude. Yeah, like yeah Jalen. And good for Jalen too. All the all the shit he had to go through in college, and beast. He's and a fucking it, and, beast. And did it the right way in college too. Like he got benched. Was very humble about it. Like supportive of it was Tua, right? Mm-hmm. Supportive of Tua stayed for a second, and then hit, and then transferred, and then. To control and was like a leader on that team in Oklahoma. In such a short time, too, yeah, which is hard such to do. A short time. And there were a couple things to where he would po- they somebody would post for him, him working out right after the game, and which I thought was funny. Laughed at at the time. But no, he's 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 done it, I feel like. You gotta be right happy way. for him. You gotta be happy for AJ too, dude. Like it sucks. Like as a as a Tennessee Titan and as a fan watching, that shit sucked yesterday. But AJ, like being a player in the NFL, you want everybody to get paid and have success, and it seems like AJ it all worked out for him that way. Oh, you wish he was with the Titans. I mean, you do. And everyone's probably coming at John's head right now. Hindsight's twenty twenty. There's three sides to every story. AJ's side, John's side, and then the truth. Because mm. AJ's, he probably was asking for a lot more. They were, weren't were willing to give what the Eagles were giving. Whatever it was, it sucks. And they, we all wish he was in the we'll truth on blue. AJ on one day. 
You think so? Yeah, I do. All right. I hope so. I do. I think he'll come on, especially now. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. He's a fucking stud, man. I, I, shot, really him, I shot him just the eyes yesterday. He responded yesterday to you? morning. It was like 9 in the morning. I just shot him the eyes. <laughs> he just responded, it's up today, family. <laughs> that, was <it. laughs> that was it. Damn. I was just chuckle. I was like, man, I wonder what's going to happen today. And then it fucking happened. That second, yeah, after that touchdown, up. not the one that got called back, his second touchdown that he had, that ball was perfectly placed. Yeah. AJ did not think he was getting the ball in that play.